Hello, I'm about to show you how to put a door into a curtain wall. Uh, we're going to start off with a floor that I've already created here. Uh, this is a brand new file. Uh, we are working in um, Revit 2012. Um, so I've created this floor as you can see in the properties on the right hand side. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a curtain wall. Uh, if you don't know where you find your curtain wall, you go under the home tab, under the wall, uh, you click the wall tab and in the properties you'll see that curtain wall came up and this is because I've already selected it but normally you will have all these walls uh, and from these walls all the way at the end uh, you go to storefront um, and curtain wall so what you'll be able to do um, is create this curtain wall what it, how, the way that it does it is on its center line so what you'll see is that the second I'm done creating it you'll see that it took up a little bit more space and the center line is right here highlighted in blue. This is not exactly ideal sometimes when you want the curtain wall to be flushed with the edge of the surface. Um, so a simple fix would be just simply to move it, grab it where you could see that it's the furthest that it's out and just move it to the front. So now we have our curtain wall in plan. Uh, we're just gonna go into our 3D view um, if you don't have this 3D view, um, you can go simply into view, then 3D view, and then once you click it, it will automatically pop up and you'll be able to see what I'm seeing right now. Uh, we can move around if you hold shift and your scroll scroller on your mouse. Um, and the way we're going to put a, um, a door into this facade or into this um, glass uh, system is that um, as you can see we could we've just selected this piece of glass and the way you could do that um, when you're hovering around sometimes you'll be able to get it but sometimes it's not going to be so easy so the best way to go through the items that your mouse is hovering over is by uh, tapping uh, the button tab on your keyboard and that will allow you to go one by one and search for what you might want to find so what you're gonna do is grab this window pane once it comes up in blue uh, and you see, you will see this pin unpin it and this will allow you to change uh, what this system or what this panel is made of um, usually you won't have the door loaded just in yet so what you will have to do is go into the insert tab and load family what this will allow you to do is find the curtain um, panel door so what you'll see is you'll go under doors and you will be able to look for curtain wall uh, double glass door or a single glass door. Um, we're going to go with the single um, just because that's how big the space would be. And that's what we just selected. So that's already loaded into the project. And now you'll be able to click that window again. You won't have to unpin it since it's already been unpinned. You're going to go into the properties. And from there, you're going to click curtain wall single glass. And as you can see, a handle came up, and this door is now in your curtain wall system. As you can see, it's it's in here, and it's drawn in plan. Uh, with these arrows, you can flip it around uh, if you don't want the door to swing a specific way, or if you want it to swing into the building. But there's still one more problem, and we could see this in plan. Um, there's a piece of mullion that wasn't deleted. And that could be a potential hazard if you're trying to walk into a building and that's still there. So what we're going to do now is tab over this mullion, click it, and sometimes you still click the wrong thing. Uh, but you can see it's also still locked. So you will have to unpin it and you could simply click the delete button. And what that window pane has now done is uh, extended past that uh, spot where the mullion used to exist. So now you have a glass um, door in your curtain wall system and that's pretty much it thank you for watching